Hey guys, how's it going? Hey, on the last two videos of resurrecting the uh, trials bike, the Honda uh, TL250, we were getting the engine unfrozen and I had a compression tester stuffed in there and uh, spinning it around, watching the, the pressure of the gauge and uh, having an increase over the time that it run, ran. And a bunch of the discussion going back and forth in the comments was uh, what does the intake restriction do to the actual compression reading and i knew the throttle was stuck halfway open when i was testing it and uh i had 60 the first go around after i got it freed up and then after we ran it some more with some oil through it it came up to 100 but the carburetor was removed from that point so i think it would make for a good video that will the bike is exactly where it left off at the end where it fired up ran and died used up what was left of it for the gas so why don't we with the carburetor on it we'll do a compression test with it uh at closed throttle at half throttle and at full throttle and we'll see what the difference is so when we get set up i gotta get that side cover back off of it again we'll hook the drill up to it get the compression tester on it and see what happens it shouldn't be too tight i would suspect not to see much of a difference between half throttle and full throttle but closed throttle mm, I want to say I'm gonna guess 25 percent difference 25 25 30 percent difference again that's just a guess on my part and this would be true for pretty much any engine if you um, for who's those who didn't see the previous video you could even hear it when I was I had no intake on it I was cupping my hand over the intake and when I was doing it, you actually hear the engine speed up and slow down. I, I cut my hand over it, it would speed up, I let it off, it would slow down. And that's just because the the charge of air going into the cylinder was allowing the cylinder to fill up and compress more air when it was open. And then when you cup your hand over it, you're restricting, you're actually creating a vacuum. When the piston was going down, you're actually creating a vacuum and not allowing as much oxygen to come back in and get squeezed. So that's a theory. Uh, let's go see what the actual numbers are. All right, so that should be all the way at close throttle. Yeah. We'll start with that with our baseline. And uh, last we left off was 100 pounds, and then it ran. It ran for about a minute. So the number, the numbers may have come up. They may not have. All depends on if that helped uh, polish the innards a little bit more. Okay, throttle closed. We are at, I want to say 95 pounds. See that? So the first time around, it was at 60. So that goes to show that that definitely had internals that were not sealing up correctly the first time around. Let me go grab a clamp to go uh, adjust the throttle. Right, I'm going to try a vice grip to hold that. It's got no grip on it. All the way to full throttle. And the way, hopefully the weight of the vice grips helps hold it. Let's see what full throttle gives us. Can you guys read the gauge? Yeah, you can see it from where you are, right? We are at 125 right in that area. So you can definitely see the difference between the two of them. Which is good, that means that engine even came up even further. And let's try to go about halfway. Halfway is where I had it. It could impede the number a little bit. I don't think it would make the difference between 60 and 100 pounds. Well, I have a feeling it's gonna be roughly, I, 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 I'm gonna guess 120, what's your guess? 115, 120, it might even be 125, it might not. Because it's spinning so slow. I think all the air can get into the chamber that it needs to anyway. Can you see the gauge? Yes, you can. There you go. It is at uh, 120. So there it is. So you can actually see the difference between what the intake restriction can cause it to do. Uh, half throttle, full throttle, and it kicked out about five pounds. You see a big difference between uh, closed throttle 
and wide open. And the true, the same could be true about the exhaust too. If the exhaust is pinched off, it can cause you. Would it go the other way? I'm trying to think of how that would go. Maybe, maybe we'll leave that one up to the questions. A restriction, I would think the air pump would be able to build a charge but not release it. It might even go higher. I'm not sure of that. I would have to think about that. We'll leave that one up for the comments. All right, guys, just a quick little video just to uh, have some fun and uh, maybe answer some questions about what compression does when it is restricted. And other things can come into that also. Cam timing can change things. Um, temperature. And again, you know, the condition of the engine and the condition I feel, feel with this one, more than likely it was just the valves. We're not seating all the way. They had some kind of crud underneath them. And the rings possibly were just uh, kind of stuck a little bit or the cylinder, the top of the cylinder had a little bit of pitting or crud when it was this engine was seized. And we helped uh, seat that and polish that back up again so it was sealed again. All right, guys. Thanks again. I will see you in the next one. Later.